This is Knight Rider, pass off number three. In this case, we're going from measure 11 to measure 27. So let's talk through it. First of all, on these eighth notes on the G string, you've gotta have your elbow tucked under, okay? So that the A and the B and the C are high enough. Also, keep a steady beat. We tend to start, or you guys tend to start right with the metronome. And then as you play, it gets slower and slower so that finally by the time we get to measure 16, we're a little bit behind. The reason that happens is because while you're bowing, your bow is getting longer and longer and longer accidentally. So make sure you're keeping the same amount of bow all the way through this passage. Notice that you have a crescendo marked. Please go ahead and draw it in your music because our brains really see the crescendo more than we see the marking. This is one of the tricky parts of this because I've been talking about it. I'm not sure how many of you have marked it. So in the original case, at measure 17, you have a dotted half note tied to a quarter note in 18. And then there was a lift marking. So what I want you to do is play the dotted half note. Don't play the quarter note. We're going to put a rest there instead. And you can draw it just like I did. Make your best quarter rest. As long as you understand it, that's fine and you're going to lift set on the downbeat for this entrance. So you will play A, two, three, lift set, B, C. You probably need to isolate that section, that skill, before you try to play through the whole passage. Now when we go on at measure 19, you'll notice now we have those A string notes. We have D needs to be higher in most of your cases, and C needs to be centered. Remember, don't squeeze it. When we get to the dotted half note, make sure you're counting three beats because there is another section playing three quarter notes there. So if you forget to count, we're not gonna be together when we get to measure 20. That's very important. In this section, there are a lot of note changes, right? D, A, B, C, B, A. So if you're still struggling with notes, a good tip is to play these as quarter notes instead of two eighths, just so you can Get rid of some of the bow issues and just focus on getting your left hand fingers moving at the right pace. Then add the bow. And remember, four inches of bow for each note. Now look at measure 26. Measure 26 is written as a dotted half note. Measure, tw measure 27, by the way, 26 is a down bow. It's written as a dotted half note. And then measure 27 also goes down. So we need to add a bow lift. So first of all, draw the bow lift in 26. Draw an X through the dot. I'm gonna to try to do that while I'm talking to you. Let's see if I can. I did okay. And then draw a quarter rest at the end of the bar. That's when you'll lift the bow to set for 27. 